can't even fathom how many pieces would be in this room. I would guess 20,000 pieces minimum. Uh, I'm currently standing in front of a rack that is all pajamas, house coats, and nighties. So if that's one rack, uh, you can imagine what is in this room. <laughs> Now we're in one of the wardrobe storage units that's in the Citadel complex because we do plays that range from every date imaginable. We have costumes from every date imaginable. So uh, our wardrobe staff will come in here searching when we hear, say, we're doing a Shakespeare play. They'll come in and see what we have in stock, if there's pieces we can reuse or if we need to build new stuff rent new stuff, order, whatever. Um, most of our costumes are built on site. If it's a modern show, then yes, we will purchase, but of course the clothing needs to be tailored to the actors. So there's always work that happens in our wardrobe shops regardless of the period that the play is put on. Our general public or theater going audiences would never get to see the space. This is all storage. Um, the only people who come in here are our wardrobe staff, stitchers, dyers, that kind of thing, who are looking for stock items to see if we can reuse them. Or once we finish a play, this is one of the rooms where all of the costumes from the play will get stored. There's probably costumes in here that have been built from, I would say, the 80s on. Uh, stuff before that, uh, I would say is, is long gone. When we're budgeting for our season, we know that we have stock so we can reuse pieces. Uh, certainly, especially period items take a lot of labor uh, to, to recreate. And so having access to stock items saves us money and also saves work for the wardrobe department.